Hello again, you and I are going to do a daily run. This is Hazel today. Now I apologise if in the background you can hear explosives. Don't worry, it is merely the day in the United Kingdom when we celebrate that 410 years ago some Spanish person failed to destroy some English person for believing in a different interpretation of a book. Unfortunately, the English person who oh, that was really bad damage. The English person who he tried to destroy was the king. Turns out, trying to kill the king, well, that's frowned upon to such a great extent that four centuries later, we're still going on about it. So we're doing an Azazel run. Azazel should be a reasonably easy run, I th think. Uh, Bomber Boy is a new item that we haven't seen before, which is what a uh, new item mean? I believe we will discover soon that it causes a uh, yes, a lot more <laughs> explosions than your average bomb, and we have no keys, so we can't do that. We might uh, the charge time is killing me. We might benefit from doing this, but the charge time may make it less worthwhile. No, <laughs> it really wasn't worthwhile. You die. Wow. Have we been nerfed or something? Has Azazel been nerfed? Or is this just a nerfed version of Azazel? Because I don't feel like I'm doing as much damage as that. Oh, okay, well, he blew himself up. <laughs> it wasn't me. The Magician doesn't help us as much as the Fool card does. What are we going to do with the Fool card? I don't know. I am aware that... Um, Bosterus is probably more beneficial done than avoided. Uh, I did. But uh, you want to be powerful enough to do boss rush, so... I guess we'll just have to see whether we get that far. We, I'm feeling a lot less powerful than I normally expect to feel uh, as a Zazel. I think we'll just use this sun card straight away. This seems like a good room for it. Yep, yeah, that's a decent room for it. Keep full card. Put a bomb here. Probably get rid of this fire, because it's scary. Can we get rid of this spider? Oh, we've got two fires as well. By the back. Uh, yes, no keys, that's a problem. But we can do this boss trap room for quad shot. Uh, I think this could be awesome. Let's find out. Oh dear! Um, our charge time, of course, is massively inflated, and I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, very massively inflated. And pin. Yes. But at the same time, we're now doing a lot of damage. And there's a key, which is. Pretty much why I went in there, so it worked out for us. Uh, no. Does it do anything for us? It might not. Oh, I don't think it does. That's interesting. We don't have tears, so we can't have laser tears, that makes sense. Um, I'm killing the charge too early. It's a big problem because we're waiting all day for this thing to charge up. This quad shot, I expect a lot of people would have taken it. And obviously I agree. Uh, but we, like them, have taken it on the assumption that at some point we will get some tiers upgrades because <laughs> we can't go on like this. No siree. We can get into our shop without a um, key, which is nice because of the secret room being where it is. We've got two there. Uh, I think two enemies per barrage it's not as good as I would like to be. So we're really, really going to be needing a tears upgrade to make this worthwhile. I do like these new bombs though. That's probably pretty good. Oh, there's no point in going to the shop. We don't get any money. Let's see if this guy's got any money for it. Uh, not quite enough. But maybe this has got some money for it. No. We'll wait 20 seconds and see if this has got any money for it. No. Very well. If we get an extra cent from some... Uh, some miracle of the future. We'll probably want to buy Blue Map. So we need to make every one of these brimstones count. Excuse me, please don't jump out of the way of my brimstone, which I'm trying to make count, Monstro. So this is the Monstro that I thought, I think yesterday's Monstro was, when I said that it was the tanky Monstro. It doesn't jump very much. That's this one. Uh, the speed and damage upgrade is nice, but does this help? Take it anyway. It's uh, precedent, but it's nothing else. 
Uh, and I am going to go to the curse stream, even though... Even though... Uh, hello? I can't actually see whether I'm charged. Oh, great. Of course there's bad guys in here. Where are you? I'll wait for them to line themselves up. There we go. Good. Uh, no, 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 no. I do not want that. Uh, no, that wasn't a very great curse room, but of course it only cost us half a heart because we can fly. So, I'm saying it could have been worse, and we will take this blue map as I promise. Which will give us information about this. Which will give us nothing. Very well. I'm not even going to waste the bomb on it. It could give us a few pennies, it could give us a good trinket. Uh, or it could give us a wasted bomb. So, you know, it is what it is. Am I charged? Yes. You can just about see him cheeks flashing. Him cheeks? His cheeks flashing behind the... Oh, hello. Death touch mask. If we can find a tear effect that undoes the death touch mask, I'm going to be stoked about that. Stoked about that. Uh, I've only got two keys, so... Probably not worth starting a four-key room. Uh, I probably don't want that unless we can find a, um, a blood bank. It would definitely be worthwhile for a blood bank. We will go into our item room. We will take... Probably not that, because it's going to cost us points. Let's get a press on. Uh, we do probably want to visit this secret room, actually. Don't really want the missing poster. Uh, Transcendence does nothing, and I took it, which cost me 10 points, so that was probably a mistake. And this... Uh, three spiders. Not the... Not black spiders, so... Can't complain, I suppose. Oh, Curse of the Maze, hello. Haven't seen you for a while. We really need to make every single one of these... Brimstone attacks count, because... For as much as we poss uh, possibly can. Simply because they take so damn long. Uh, we will probably have to take this in order to ensure that we don't die. Which I understand is part of the game. Not dying. Maybe here? Oh, that hurts us. Okay, be careful. Okay, that's pretty nice. Telepills is okay in this situation. Um, no. <laughs> Where am I going? I need to go back there. Get those pills. Find them. Find them. Find out what they are. Curse the maze, please. I'm just trying to do my job. Retrover. The one makes you small. That might help us. And pretty. pretty oh, you read that one out. Thanks, Mr. Pills. I wonder why he only reads some of them out. Maybe he could only make some of them sound suave. Plus, no, oh, lame. Uh, I am going to die. This is bad. I think that I may have done myself an, an injustice. Oh, I really can't tell whether I'm charged up now. I think we're charged. Um, in taking quad shot, because we haven't actually had the requisite tears upgrade aforementioned that will help us make this passable. And I think Pretty Fly just saved us there, so... All glory to the pretty fly. I wouldn't mind. I'm going to charge up, then go in the room. I wouldn't mind uh, some HP. It's all the same to you. Retro vision is double plus unhelping. There we go. You think Isaac looks pixelated by default until retro vision comes along and shits on your Cheerios. Ah, well. What we do? We shall fight the Forsaken and presumably die. As a result. Brimstone? Yep. Shit. Ah, we did it. And a red heart is gonna keep us alive. Telepills? No. Pretty fly? Yes. Pretty fly. Question marks? Yes. Question marks? Paralysis? Not too bad. Uh, I think the fool beats telepills just because of the predictability of it. Although an error room would not necessarily be the worst thing. Uh, boss traps. No. 
Maybe. Steel, yes. <laughs> Two of them as well. That bomb hunted me down. Like the devil I am. But today's is very devilish, so not an inaccurate analogy. I must remember to keep away from my own bombs, because I'm really, very, very much not used to that. But we're definitely going to find the ins, ins and outs of the secret rooms. Um, this way. Whoops, careful. So a tears upgrade. Still looking for that. Uh, still on my Christmas list, please. Game engine. What's this? Ansus. Do you think this is worth using now? I think no, because we've already right. we've already found the boss. <laughs> uh, I was going to say we've already found the shop. Oh, I wasn't charged. Again, this is one of those rooms where not being charged up is just a pain in the ass. And if we had an orbital or anything, we could start dealing with these one by one. Okay. We don't. <laughs> we have a pretty fly. It doesn't count as an orbital because it doesn't do damage on combat. It's not an offensive orbital. Mega Fatty probably won't last long if I can actually fire. So, yeah, this is slightly awkward. Simply for the fact that it takes so long to charge it. So I'm going to keep harping on about until something happens. So, ah, really? Of course, it's Azazel, so you have to be close enough that you... Oh, is this going to dampen our range? Tears up though, we need it, really. Um Yes. 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 Excellent. That did really, really well. And uh Dark Bum's got that for me. Okay. We did get a tears up. Uh, I think you can tell we're already charging faster, it's not ideal. I wouldn't mind a bit more. Dark Bum, that's for you. Let's see what you got for me here. The damage upgrade as well means we probably won't have to fire it more than once anyway. No, it's still not actually firing when I think we're going to. But it's not as bad. Not as bad as it was. Um, I mean, we can probably get most... Oh, no bombs. If we get a bomb, we can probably get everybody. Uh, run. Our speed is much better now. So we can start thinking about speed as a source of points. Right, we need to... Line these things up. Array them. Come on, come on. Try and get them all into the same approximate place, and then we can do something like this. We took them damage. I don't mind. I was half expecting to, if I'm honest. <laughs> Didn't expect that, but uh, I think we got away with it. Away with it, we got. Careful. Handsome room gives us even more. Explosiveness. Credit card. Was there anything in the shop that we cared for? I mean, I'm not salty about the way we handled the deal with the devil because uh, Abaddon. Oh, not really. Just buy everything. Um, range up is nice, actually, as a Zazel. Abaddon takes away all your HP, red HP anyway. Irrespective of how much it says it costs. Hey! That was fun. So, costing three spirit hearts to give back six black hearts is not, you know, it's not a, a, a raw deal. It's a pretty decent deal, in my opinion. Take down this rune and we'll go out of this floor. Um, and we did get all three items, and Dark Bum is definitely going to help in from a defensive standpoint, because Dark Bum is basically going to take any red hearts which we now can't use and replace them with spirit hearts on a you know one and a half to one basis you know modulo the times that dark bum doesn't actually pay out with a black heart but rather oh, thanks for jumping at the last fucking possible minute douche look at him good lord i hate these things teleporting enemies are the worst when you have a long charge time nice so, losing all our red HP and taking Dark Bum is pretty much uh, a guaranteed win. 
Yes. You should have used this already. You use it now. Can we get out of here as a result of this? No. We could have used them to get out. That was silly. I think Dark Bum just gave us that spider there. Can, can I get out of here, please? Leave me alone. Where is it? Wall Master? Hello? Oh, I killed it. I was expecting the Wall Master to come down, if you were wondering what I was doing, so that I could not waste a charge just to kill one spider. I didn't realise that I'd actually killed the Wall Master and the spider was the only thing left. Twist. Interesting plot device if anyone's uh, writing a book. Didn't know about the Wall Master being dead. I see dead Wall Masters. I will just do this. Excuse me? Let's try this again in a way where you actually die. That's good. Get hit by that, and we'll take that out. Again, charge time is probably our... It's going to be our downfall if we can't do anything about it. But I don't want to say downfall. Um, it's not going to lose us the run, but it's going to lose us a lot of points. Because if we miss any enemies as a result of it... That's a pretty nice room, actually. I like that. If we miss any enemies as a result of it, we have to spend at least the amount of time it takes us to charge it up again. Oi, what? Uh, not killing enemies. Which costs us that many points. Uh, we should go to the item room and shop before we try and fight the boss, even though there's very little chance that we have any problem fighting the boss. Nevertheless, we know where they are. We should do the backtracking now. Acropolis Point. Where are we going? Go to Mom's Heart. Okay. Um, I mean, we should probably take this. I feel like we should take this so that we have the keys left over. Not that it's entirely important, I suppose. I mean, what are keys going to get us from now on? Keys do two things. They open the special rooms and they open golden chests. Hello? How are you not dead? They open golden chests. You get that. Aquarius isn't bad. There's not going to be any hugely important rooms that we want to go to and not spend a key on. Because we're not going to the chest, we're not going to need the four keys that we'd normally have for a for the golden chests on the chest. See, this is one of those annoying situations where we have to wait for the charge time or try and get them you know, when they were lined up, which clearly wasn't going to happen. Because it didn't happen. Ah, oh, we're not charged. That was nice. Hagalas, not much use. Algiers might be some use. Algiers might be some use. Algiers might be some use. And Yera. And Paralysis. Uh, we'll take her Algiers room to the boss, I think. And then we might take the Yera down to the next floor. Yes, this is worthwhile. I don't know what we can get multiply on the next floor. We can maybe just scum the shop to get some free consumables. Dude, I'm the hell back. Really? Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to suggest... Yeah, we'll take this. The HP up doesn't actually matter because we're not going to be taking the Polaroid to benefit from permanent Polaroid invincibility. That being said, nor are we going to need it for a deal with the devil because we're not going... Oh, we will do. We will be going past the deal with the devil because we're going to Mom's heart, not just a Mom fight. Uh, you can have that. So, yes, hopefully we can get a deal with the devil that costs us our HP. Oh, not a fan of that. But he died somehow. So I'll pretend I was aware of that. I meant it all along. we got here, just a bomb. We haven't picked up a spacebar item, which is surprising to me. That may not have been the best play. We now we've got sense in our eyes instead of uh, a silly death touch thing. Can I even beat this thing? <laughs> yes. Which means at least I know when I'm charged up. Uh, Daddy long legs. This should speed us up. You have to remember that everything that I do wrong, somebody out there has not done wrong. So every little benefit we can get for ourselves to 
improve ourselves. I don't really need Book of Secrets, and it's just going to cost us points. Um, is points not well spent? That was terrible. But we got out of it. We have minimal further damage. Can this get everything? Yes. What's this? The lovers. Not much use. A uh, bit of use, because Dark Bum's here. Everyone loves Dark Bum. Excellent. And now we need to sort of <laughs> run the hell away. Oh god. Double O oh god. Okay, good. What's this? Blind Rage. Blind to damage. Uh, I'm gonna stick with it, I guess. Reroll everything else. What is this now? Mom's locket. I'm gonna stick with this because I'm not sure what it does. <laughs> um, I don't appear to have particularly suffered in the sense that I can still shoot. Great. Take him out, Daddy Longlegs. I don't want to have to deal with it. Golden bomb. If that got me any points. Every time you do a room and you get consumables out of it, it's almost certainly worth having done the room. Because at the speed that Azazel goes, <laughs> that was pretty much. Um. Oh, I didn't charge. Speed that Azazel goes, you've almost certainly spent less time in the room than it costs you points. But you spent less time in the room than the item that drops is worth in points. So that's temperance. Blow it up. Sure. Anything? Some coins, which is worth points. So we will take it. Uh, now we just want the boss, really. I think I'm happy to go. Paralysis. Yeah. Easy enough. We do have a spacebar item now. Uh, so we can... Oh, that was terrible. Again, with the charging, still salty about the charging. I mean, when we do have a charge, the damage in the is immense. I promise I can speak English. Yes. We can already fly. We don't need spectral tears. Might as well take permanent Polaroid invincibility because we've just spent our last HP on getting a huge speed and damage upgrade. This means we're going to be even more reckless than we were just now. Uh, oh, it's a button. Gotcha. I was expecting a little horn. Hello? Uh, yeah, we'll just catch the bullets. I'm down with that. Um, okay, sure. We've lost our permanent Polaroid invincibility and our Horror Babylon. That was a bad idea. Uh, what we need now is a second heart container so that we can get. Uh, make use of that blood bank. I how am I still not charged up? I've been holding this button down for like 20 fucking seconds. There we go. Uh, when I say make use of the blood bank, obviously I mean we want to be able to use it to get rid of an HP. So if we can have two HP, we can use the blood bank to get rid of one of them, pick up the half a heart, and use the blood bank to get rid of one of them, thereby putting ourselves on half an HP. Which is what we want. For permanent polar invincibility. And for the Horror of Babylon, both of which I ruined with a very snap decision. It happens, you know, you go, oh, Black Lotus, I haven't seen that for a long time. You don't think, A, that's going to cost me points to pick it up, and B, that's going to cost me Horror of Babylon and permanent polar invincibility to pick it up. You just think, oh my god, that's an amazing item. Uh, I don't want you to take that, just in case. We will look in here. <laughs> this guy again. Where you at? So strange having enemies in the secret rooms now. I uh, don't really care for that. The moon. Uh, I'm kind of in a secret room. Balls of steel might be good, but we do have dark bum. So who am I kidding? It's not that good. Nope, that's not a door. So we're really just hoping for HP. I'm salty. HP from the boss. How did I avoid damage there? We really need to pay attention to the fact that the... Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna take this. The troll bombs have our bomb effect, which doesn't make me happy. In fact, it terrifies me. Another key. A few points to float. Please die before you do anything horrible like shoot at me. Don't jump over me, you dick. Can I shoot? Still not charged up. Problem. Good. But yeah, I mean, a couple of hits on everything is actually getting in. You know, dealing the damage, but we have to actually get those couple of hits. You know, we, we, we're releasing brimstone before it's charged up because it takes so long to charge up. Longer than I'm remotely used to. What did I do to deserve that room? It's normal boom as well. Oh, utero. <laughs> Somehow Utero seems less horrendous than Scarred Wound does anymore. Even though it's terrifying and scary. That opened this. That's amazing. That nearly did everything. Ah! Oh, Daddy Longnose finished the job. Daddy Longnose is actually... I hadn't thought of this when I picked it up. Uh, essentially the orbital that I asked for. It's going to do damage in between when we're recharging the fact that we failed to do decent damage in the first place. Oh, that wasn't great. But I'll, I'll let it pass. Probably. Careful. Ooh. Careful. We do have two pretty flies, of course. We want to. Uh, we want to thank them for their service whenever they take a hit for us. I can't. Okay, this fucking damage, man. The damage is out of control. The method of dealing damage is outrageously slow. I feel like I have to reload a rocket launcher. Hit it. Stamp on it. Right. Go on. You can speed up as well if it's all the same to you. Okay. Dead end. I mean, as long as we get a consumable out of the room, the fact that it's a dead end is not... It's not a big deal. We've got a charge back on our Book of Belial as well, which is nice. We can get two of them. I think that's okay. I'd rather get all of them. I wonder whether it's uh, valuable to look for tinted rocks. Oh, look upgrades. Nice. Uh, well, for a start, if I have. If I use the bomb, it costs me. I should have used the yellow room right here, didn't I? Wow! <laughs> that wasn't brilliant. Again, it's going to explode. Gavel. Good. It cost me the 20 points for the bomb. Wait, what was I saying? Yeah, for the tinted rocks. Help, help. <laughs> uh, but if it drops the spirit heart, I can't really necessarily use it because I've got Dark Bum hooking me up with those all the time anyway. That's probably what we want. Actually, now I can think about it. It doesn't matter because we're not going to go past this floor. That's okay. Um, yeah, so do you want to open Spirit Heart at uh, Tinted Drops? It could have Spirit Heart, which is not a huge amount of use, necessarily. Um, especially if you're full on Spirit Hearts, you can't pick it up and make up the points that you spent on opening the Tinted Drop. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Opening the Tinted Drop in the first place. Similarly, if it, picks, if it drops something like the small rock, you'll be penalised for picking up the small rock. That was scary. But we want the small rock, you know? So does the small rock, at this late stage of the game, make up for the points that it costs you to actually get the small rock? Same as this secret room I'm about to go into. Does the price of the single bomb that it takes me to open the secret room make up for, or is it made up for by the contents? In this case, no, not remote. Do as long as I don't have to. Yeah, don't have to kill him. Probably use this. Seems decent. I would like Daddy Longlegs to definitely help out. I've forgotten, by the way, that technology and brimstone now synergize. If you look closely. You see, my brimstone laser has a technology laser wrapped around it. That was a super easy fight. Get this, so that I can fucking have some more points before we go. Oh, you dick. 19,000. 
22,000. It's not... It's probably a bad score for an Azazel run. And again, we're approximately 5,000th every single time we play, give or take the run. Except for the lost run when we were like 10,000th because we lasted for a whole minute. But no, I'm not upset with that. I think we're getting better. I'm remembering how to play Isaac. So hopefully, with a little bit less recklessness, we can start increasing that score number um, to maybe the 3000s. Got a dream, right? Well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.